Hello everyone. Um, sorry that you guys haven't seen me for a while. Uh, I've not been doing too well with Christmas and not seeing my kids. But um, I'm back now. Uh, unfortunately though, I've actually had to come here today to do a little podcast. It's in memory of a guy called Nigel, Nigel Kenny. He's a Wiccan bloke. Um, I literally only met him three and a half weeks ago. And uh, unfortunately, Nigel passed away this morning. I don't know the full story. All that I know is that a couple of weeks ago, he become very unwell. Um, Nigel was one of them guys. He was a big man, very big man. But he was a gentle giant. Um, he had a very, very, very productive life, if we could put it that way. Um, he jumped out of a thousand planes parachuting. Um, fair play to him, because I tell you what, I can't even get up a step ladder without shitting myself. So, um, yeah, so today i just wanted to do a little uh like video for him just uh in honor of him because um although i only know him for a few weeks he left a mark in my life um when i started speaking to him three weeks ago up at the golf course he told me that he'd been going through the same sort of thing as me with the kids um not so much that he was kept away from the kids but the social services side of it so he understood where I come from when I spoke about social. Um, he literally, this guy, he he was part of a world record thing. He jumped out of like plane with like a thousand other parachuters, and he worked in Australia um, in the in the mines and stuff. Like, and and his visa ran out and he got deported. You know, things that he, the stories he told me it was just like, wow, he really lived his life. He really lived his life. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought I'd do a little podcast for all you Wiccan people that might have known him. Uh, Nigel Kenny, his name was. He turned 60 on Christmas Day. Um, and very, very weird thing that he said to me before Christmas was, I made it to 60, I never thought I would. Um, it's very sad. It's very, very sad, really. Um, he, it's another story he told me was about the um we went to some bar i think it was in australia and it was a nancy bar so all the guys in there had nancy tattoos there was nancy stuff all over the walls and he walked in and he went oh bugger i'm british this is not going to go down to you well anyway he turned around and shouted whole hitler <laughs> and got free drinks for the rest of the night this is Nigel, yeah? <laughs> what a legend. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, rest in peace. Like, honestly, this guy, he was a beautiful soul. I mean, I've, I've only known him three and a half weeks, and he's left such a mark on my life. Um, today has been very emotional up at the golf course where I've been helping out. Uh, lots of tears, lots of cuddles, lots of upset people. Um... And it just shows how much of a mark he left on people's life. But at the same time, it, it hit me hard because I haven't been very, very well recently. I was suffering from anxiety. It's been going through the roof. And uh, it's because I miss my kids. And, you know, people they see Nigel, he's 60 years old, passed away. And I'm like, mate, you never know when the time's up. And this is the worst, this is the worst part about it. So I just wanted to say, everyone up at the golf course, Sarah... John, all you like, yeah, love to all you guys, um, I'm so, I'm so sorry that this happened, um, Nigel, he, he was a, he was a good guy, he was, he was just, like, literally, he knew all the people I knew, like, Brendan Seeley, Jeff Francis, went to school with all them, not up at Hatters Lane, um, so, yeah, all you guys at the golf course, I, seriously, if anything I can do, please ask me, and I'm there, I'll help you. Um, yeah, so, uh, R.I.P. to Nigel, S big shout out to his daughters, and a massive shout out to Julie, his partner, who I've recently been talking to a lot, up at the golf course, such a lovely woman, um, his memory will never die, 
because he has got such a good heart in him and the stories I've been hearing today especially I'm sat there like wow like people like that they don't die they live on they live on through our hearts all all of them all, all you all the people out there that think oh you know someone's died in their life whatever no one truly dies because we keep them alive in our hearts in our memories and we just got to keep telling them stories to keep their memories alive and that's what you've got to do okay so but yeah sorry this is just a quick literally i'm going to go now but i'm just saying i like, love to all you people at the golf course dava all you lot man i'm feeling it today i really am like today was an emotional day um lots of cuddles lots of talking um but yeah anyway nigel nigel kenny much love to you bro thanks for the talks we had thanks for the beer you brought me and uh I, I drank I drank some cider today. I don't like cider, but I drank it today for you, okay? In memory of you. And every year from now on, on this day, I will drink a pint of cider. Anyway, all you lot, thank you for tuning in. Um, much love to you all. And uh, sorry for the sad podcast. It's not really very nice, but, you know, it is what it is. And the problem is when you get older... The more people start dropping like flies, it's, it's horrible, but it is, it is what it is. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll speak to, speak to you guys all soon. Much love, and uh, all you people at Ridsburg Golf Course, you're always going to be in my heart.